fake. Tannehill rolls right. Fires mid is wide open. Johnny Smith. Harold Landry and the Minshew Show. Touchdown, Titans. Power from number 81. Touchdown, Titans. Adam Humphreys. He intercepted Fulton. Intercepted. noise from home. I can hear him here. I can hear him here in the studio. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. This, of course, is Eddie George. And uh, joining us here, we got our Blitz Lounge. These folks are from the 22nd Element, our season ticket member Facebook group, private group, getting loud and proud and rowdy at home. I know. Look at you guys. <laughs> Look at that. This is a good looking bunch here. I, I talk to you guys a lot online. You ready for this? You're here with the one and only Eddie George. Yeah. Eddie. What's up? Eddie. Look at this. Eddie. Mr. First Down. Eddie. Let's see that hat. See it? See what this says, Eddie? Oh, no. oh it's going across. Eddie, Eddie, I Eddie like all the time. I like that. Then that's nice. So when his lights My are off man. in the house, that's how he finds his way around. <laughs> All right, guys. They're going to be hanging out with us. We'll talk to them in a little bit. Let's kick off the show and uh, do what we do right now. It's time for Four Downs with Eddie, presented by Corson Fire and Security. <clears throat> and uh, Eddie, <clears throat> big win, 2-0, and oh, but uh, tough sledding a little bit. We'll take it. We'll take it. Absolutely. You said this to me right there. Look, it says Titans are on track. You said those words yes. to me uh, yes. off camera a little while ago. Yes, they are. I mean, they're right where they need to be. Okay. I, I don't think they need to. We can't look into, well, they're not blowing these teams out. This is the only two games in. Mm -hmm. What we're finding out is how mature they are. Mm -hmm. you know, they're not panicking right. in, 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 in spots where you would have saw two years ago. Yeah. They might have drop the game or two, uh, might be one and one right now or yeah. one and two, but they're finding ways to win. Tanny Hill is finding ways to score touchdowns by throwing the football. Yeah. Derrick Henry's churning out the hard yards, yeah. not breaking off the big runs that we're accustomed to see him having, but as an offense, running the ball was 123 yards. Right, right, right. It was 100, so, 123 yards and 34 carries all around as a team, and, and, and Henry's effect is helping Tannehill, who threw four marvelous touchdown marvelous. passes. And look who's – I mean, you got other complimentary players like mm -hmm. Jonu Smith stepping up. Right. Last week it was Corey Davis. This week it was somebody else. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing the different pieces and parts to the offense – finding their way. The role players are finding their way. So yeah. it's rolling right on time, right on schedule where we need to be and nowhere else. It was nice to see, you know, uh, guys like Sonoris Perry and, uh, yeah, and, and Jeremy yeah, McNichols yes, yes. get not just some carries. They were, they were getting first downs, hard runs, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's really keeping defenses on their toes to show that we've got more than just Henry and Tannehill. Back no there. question. Yeah. And it's taking the pressure off of Derek. It's taking yeah. the pressure off of uh, Tannehill because now defenses have to play honest. they got to right. say, well, who are we going to stop this week? Yeah. And I think Art Smith is doing a fantastic job of putting these playmakers in great positions to make plays so you can't key on one guy. Yeah. you got to pick your poise in terms of, as a defense, who are you going to stop this week? Is it going to be Derek? Yeah. Or now do we have to stop Tannehill? So I, I saw it's, a lot it's, of it's created uh, monster right now. I saw a lot of Art Smith love on social media yes. after this game. Uh, a lot of people they're saying he's going to be head coach soon. I just, don't just say wait. that. Right. Wait, <laughs> wait, just not him right now. This year. <laughs> uh, let's move on to uh, to second down here. Uh, you mentioned Jonu Smith. Mm -hmm. Big day for him. These receivers are making a huge difference. Weapons out on the field. Janu, I mean, when the game started, it was it looked like it was going to be all Janu all day. Yes, yes. <laughs> Big play right out the gate. Uh, put him in this position for the touchdown. You see him there going up vertical yeah. uh, on the defender. The dude is a, is a freak at, at, at tight end. I mean, I, I see why the Titans are high on this guy. Yeah. He controls the middle of the field. When you have a tight end that can stretch the middle of the field, that can yeah. break off big time plays, yeah. and plus outside receivers that can make plays in, in third and short and also scored um, on longer on longer throws, that's that's a major, major piece to your offense. I so watch him huge. play and it's it's still it's echoes of Delaney, and he gives credit. He gives a lot of credit to Delaney Walker because he plays like him. Yes. His route running and the way he attacks uh, defense blocking, backs. blocking. Oh my God! Yeah, I mean, he put, he's playing. He's in the backfield playing yeah. running back a few times. Yeah. I mean, this is 
This is a special He's cat. He's a major he weapon. He's all pro player. Uh, another guy we brought in as a weapon, uh, Adam Humphreys. Mm -hmm. and, you know, hats off to him again, making some huge clutch grabs. Of course, that you know, amazing touchdown that you know, the Tannehill took a face full of defense. Yeah, it, uh, it, yeah. It, I mean, just just a fantastic. I heard he said and one too. Yeah, after, after, and one. Right after, right after he threw that nice little yeah. dime. So yeah, huge play, Humphreys again. Not huge numbers, but making big plays like that, touchdowns, that's what you want. And it keeps defenses honest on, on their toes. Uh, moving on to uh, to third down, you know, we've, we've mentioned, you know, picking up Sonoris Perry. He yeah. got, some, got some plays in. Jeremy McNichols stepping up. New faces are standing out. You know, Cameron Batson was was upgraded just for this game. And you're thinking, okay, well, he's, he's filling out a roster. But, I mean, he's making clutch grabs here. Um like you said, these defenses, it's keeping them honest. Uh, yeah. Jack Crawford, journeyman, a nine-year man, defensive tackle, makes the first uh, sack of the season by running down a scrambling Gardner Minshew. Yeah, and Minshew, listen, you got to give him credit. Uh, Look at this, never Jacksonville, gives up one. Jacksonville came in ready to play. Minshew played an outstanding game, and they had to stop this guy right here, and he had to make the play right mm -hmm. now. And when you had, again, when you have new faces standing out, mm -hmm. when you're expecting to see Jadamian Clowney mm -hmm. do it, you're expecting to see some of our superstars like Kevin Byard and all this, when you have guys stepping up, making plays, totality, mm -hmm. I mean, totality, that's big in terms of depth, in terms of concept, in terms of uh, overall team chemistry is really starting to gel beautifully right now. It's like, it's like he knew the segue. Uh, that is the fourth down. Team chemistry. Talk about this. Because so often, especially last year, it was oftentimes the defense was bailing out the offense. And that's, you know, hey, we're a hard-nosed team, and that happens. But our offense really bailed out our, our defense quite a bit yeah. this game. You know, league-wide, I had this conversation a couple of days ago, league-wide defenses seem to be behind the offense. There's a lot of points being scored right now. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the Titans – Offense is helping out our defense mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. We still have the talent up front. We certainly mm -hmm. have the ta talent on the back end. Yeah. And it's only a matter of time before the defense is settled down, figure out what offenses are doing, mm -hmm. get a good look, because they don't have film from the preseason right. of these new looks, of new players, yeah. how they're meshing in with the new offense. I mean, so free agency had a lot to do with all of that. So the defenses are a step behind, but when your offense can do that, yeah. And you're winning games, the close games, those character games, that's going to help your team out as you move forward into late October, early November, yeah. when it's moving time. When you start to see teams start to separate themselves, yeah. the good from the great to the, from the worst. So, well, yeah. we had, uh, of course, uh, hats off to uh, rookie Christian Fulton, got his first pick mm -hmm. in this game. Like you said, you know, we don't, these defenses, they don't have tape. Yeah. Uh, he got a rookie on the field, but he snagged a ball out of midair. And I also want to give uh, hats off to a guy who does not get enough credit. He was a monster on the field, Kenny mm -hmm. Vaccaro. Oh, Kenny Vaccaro is lighting these offenses up. Uh, he had 11 tackles, two passes defended, a sack, another QB hit. Not only that, but he um, – you just see his passion on the field after the play. Guys are rallying him around him. A true leader. Yeah. Out there on defense. I mean, you have great leadership on the defense, period. And Kenny Vaccaro is a sign of that. When you have a veteran that can make plays for you, along with other key veterans and key players in that defense, this will be one of the top defenses in the league by season's end. Yeah. Mark my words for it. Looking like it so far. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, we got a, we got a good game. We'll talk about it. We got a good game coming yes, up there do. in Minnesota. We got the 22nd element hanging out with us here in the Blitz Lounge. This is going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited about 2-0. It's, it, this is a weird season already because we didn't have the offseason. No. We didn't have the, you know, but we're doing it. Yeah, we're sitting here in a quiet, it was usually fans screaming, yeah. but this is it. This is it. Hey, this we got it. it. I'll, I'll take it, it at 2-0. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, you guys know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our Geico Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Throws into the end zone. Ball is caught. Adam Humphreys. Menchu pops. Throws. Ball batted in the air. Intercepted. Intercepted. Yes. yes. Harold Landry. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. 
Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. Welcome no. back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's halftime here on the show. Take a break from the X's and O's. Uh, we did a little uh, vague Van Gogh a couple Van weeks ago. Go. Remember that? Yes, yeah. I do. Enjoy Got it. another one dialed up, an even younger artist, Sophia, age seven. Seven. Yeah, so we put uh, put it up. In case you don't know, we were, we're testing our players to see how well they can, uh, well, discern art, yeah. we'll say. Anyway, here's a vague <laughs> Van Gogh brought to you by Coca-Cola. All right. Right now, I'm seeing a bigger football player. Okay, we got some hair. We got a little mustache. Uh, Look like an offensive line, but he has a football in his hand. Look like some hair going on uh, up under the helmet. I'm thinking. Got a nice little mustache right there. That's a good variable mustache right there. Big space between the upper lip, the lip, and uh, the eyes. This guy does not have a forehead. Weird looking mustache. Looks nervous. And we got some arm bands. He got some swag it look like. And it look like he about to, he about to run off on somebody. He might, yeah, he might be headed towards a touchdown of some sort. So, oh, he got a nice little tattoo as well. Skinnier legs. I'm assuming we have tattoos here. These are tattoos. Uh, your boy Pink, so this must be the winter time. I'm thinking that is Taylor Lewan. Maybe Taylor? Call me that guy, but I think this is me. Got beautiful, what is this, teal eyes? Zoom in on my eyes real quick. Taylor Lewan, I, I know it. Taylor Lewan. Oh! Yes! It's me! And it's literally, it's, per, it's picture perfect. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I'll tell you what though, the kid got the mustache. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sophie, age seven, bravo to you. That's Van Van Gogh there for you. Uh, yeah, Taylor. That's actually Taylor's driver's license photo now. Is it really? Yeah, sure. Why not? It looks just like it. Absolutely. That was good. I, I, and I'll admit it. Uh, Eddie he guessed called it. it. He called it. Uh, Knew right away. He knows, knows his art. Yeah. Big art guy. Hey, um, so a lot went down yesterday. Season ticket members. Talking to you, uh, Blitz Lounge, 22nd Element. Uh, look, it's tough. This is our first pandemic, but we're opening things up. Fans are coming back to the stadium. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's working yes. really hard yes. to make this happen. So hats off to everybody behind the scenes with the Titans that, yeah. that worked this yes. out. We're making it yes. happen. Blitz Lounge, you coming to the games? Yeah. Yes? Yo, These are some happy people bears. right here. We are pumped. <laughs> we are pumped. Ready out every game. Bears. <laughs> As they should be. Yeah. Yeah. DJ Fast Nasty grew out the beard just for this season again, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, though, are you were you elated to have it happen? I mean, did you worry? Were you worried? Let us know. Were you worried it was going to happen? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's really not sure. Happened so quick. Happened so quick. Happened so quick. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they did, though. The, right the, the guys behind the, the scenes. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. hey, the organization worked really hard uh, pulling it off, and, and, and we're on the phones uh, with everybody. Uh, it, was, it was tough work. It's been tough getting mm -hmm. here. But, no, no, but we're here. We're hats here. off to the team, hats off the NFL yes. uh, and the players. Everybody working hard to make this thing happen, this game that we love so much. All right, speaking of this game we love so much, we're taking on these guys. Coming up on the other side, we'll talk about the keys to a victory to beating the Vikings. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, hey, welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's now the two minute warning here on the show, so we're going to talk about the keys to victory and going up to Minnesota and coming mm -hmm. back with the W being 3 0. 
Uh, well, first off, first key we'll say is uh, don't let up, right? Because mm -hmm. this is a is this not a dangerous team? I know they're yeah. rebuilding and they're not very good, but they're dangerous right now. This right? team is dangerous because they're desperate for a win. Yeah, they're at home. Yeah, they hadn't played well in weeks. They've been criticized, brutalized, and mm -hmm. demoralized, all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they're looking for a win, so they're going to come out desperate. They know the Titans are coming in as a hot team. They know that one win can turn the season around. And I think the Titans are looking at this the same way. They're treating this week coming out of there. The word coming out of the Titans facility this week is that we're looking at this as we can easily be 0-2. Yeah. So we got to clean up a lot of the stuff on defense, some things offensively to really get this thing rolling. So this is a big game for both teams. I mean, you know, I, I remember us being 0-2 at one point in time, and I just know the sense of urgency that we had mm -hmm. when we came out for that very next game. I think you're going to get Minnesota's best shot. You think it's really important, though, then to get a lead, hold that lead, and go away, you know, run away with it. And, you know, something – I understand, you know, they might they might score those Vikings, but yeah, my point yeah. is that like you've got to have total control of the game because that's what it looked like with Jacksonville until Jacksonville had those halftime adjustments. Right. They're a good football team. We got to understand, yeah. you know, in this league, every team is good, okay. regardless. So yeah. if Minnesota so happens to come out and get a lead, guess yeah. what? You got to find a way to win the game. Yeah, and I think the Titans are just learning to do that right now. And let's keep in mind, uh, Kirk Cousins, famous, you like that came when he was playing yeah. poorly with Washington, and he said that to the media after a good game. So he's yeah. hungry. He's looking for that. He's looking for he's another looking for you, you like, you that, like game. that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he definitely is. <laughs> uh, uh, second down, uh, our guy uh, established the run game, obviously. I mean, we, we still ran the ball well against Jacksonville, but I see, personally want to see Henry get to the outside. Everybody, yeah. listen, relax. Okay. You know, those runs are going to come. We, we, he spoiled us, okay? Yeah. okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him getting the yards he's getting. He had 100 yards, 31 totes, and he's doing it differently right now. He's not ripping off the 80-yard run. He's not, mm -hmm. you know, stiff-arming 50,000 guys going down the sideline. I mean, he's getting it the hard, tough way, and that's what you got to expect right now. Those yeah. runs are going to come, but guess what? Defenses are not going to allow him to beat you at this point. You saw what he did, collateral damage all last year yeah. in the playoffs, and teams say, hey, we're not letting 22 beat us, so he's going to have to earn it, and he's been doing just that. So so the runs up the middle. I'm like, no, go to the outside. It's Lance you gotta shut up. Go, just you got to go just up the middle to get to the outside. To get to the outside, yeah. which he'll do. He'll do. I know he will. Just I know he Relax is going to come. Relax. We're good. See? <laughs> man's talking me off a ledge already. All right. Hey, I want to talk about this uh, spotlight or no spotlight on the other side. So we got one more segment. Stick around. Blitz Lounge is hanging out with us. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Stick around. Oh, I know. Look at him. Tyler, over here. Tyler, over here. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's, uh, it's overtime here on the show. So we've been talking, you know, last game, game coming up and everything. But listen, after, after this game, I, I, you know, you watch all the media. And I watch mm -hmm. one of the highlights of one of the famous morning shows. And the, the highlights started with Gostowski's game-winning kick at 30-30. And then the next highlight was uh, Minshew's pick and then that was it. that was all the talk of our game never mind the four touchdowns that Tannehill threw. Wow. I put this question to our 22nd element group uh, on Facebook. Uh, what's the most overrated or I'm sorry not overrated underrated thing about our team our game players hmm. and everybody pretty much said everybody. So my question to you is that how important is the spotlight? Do you need it? Do you want it? Do you have to have it? Well, listen, is yeah. it a distraction? Guys, you play the game to get the spotlight. You want that national yeah. love. You want people talking about you. You want, you know, good morning, what is it, good morning football mm -hmm. and all these Fox and ESPN and the morning shows during the week talking about your players. Yeah. But I like it because I like the fact they're not getting the love because it puts that chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we did all this. We yeah. played, beat Baltimore, went up to New England, beat New England. Right. Play Kansas City pretty well for the AFC Championship, mind you. Right. And still get no love. Nothing. Okay, that's how you want to play it. Come out there with an attitude. I, I, I like it, especially early in the year. I don't care what happens. Dominate the headlines in September and October. 
But when November and December rolls mm -hmm. around and you're sitting on 12 wins and you're rolling, you got momentum going, yeah. that's what I care about. That's the time. So that, don't worry about it right now. Just, yeah. just keep playing your game. Win, so you see win that? silently. Silent assassin. See that 22nd? No, see that fans? <laughs> just chips on shoulders all day long. That's, right. uh, that's it. Hey, big game in Minnesota. We're going to take it to them. Bring home the dub. Tighten up as always. My man. My man. Always a pleasure. Good to see you guys. Sure. See you next week. Tighten up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh